matchmakers and managers who they put their fighters in the ring with when they're trying to protect their Strong support for Amir Khan here in Madison Square. Round number one, scheduled for 12. Khan and so far this round. Good left hand by Khan. Right hand. Good stiff jab. Khan cleanly this often, this early in a fight. Here. It's not so much that he's out speeding Malinaji. Maybe he is. They look comparably fast to me. Malinaji's <laughs> camp believes that Khan has a tendency to reach with his punches. 140 pound title on the line. <laughs> Showing very nice poise. Steps in with a combination. Worry too much about what's coming back at him. Malinaji ducked away. Caps 32%. Malinaji 5 of 42. Malinaji opens up. Usually that instruction would be given to Paulie because he won a couple rounds and then maybe gave a round. Good counter hook. Punch out him here. Punch out. Punch out him here. Punch out. It feels all around Khan and try to give him angles. I suppose he could try to to Harold's point about the jab combination there. Really foundation solid. Right, the idea there there Malinaji has well as I mentioned, he can prove that he has a <laughs> Footed boxer, although to Harold's point, Malinaji hasn't been very fleet footed this a boxer, is with another good defensive boxer. And probably couldn't beat Koto on any day. Didn't move as much as he did in the first fight. He staked out the middle of the ring more. And he's had some tough fights. In, in the second Diaz fight, which Malinaji won an unanimous decision movement. A lot more inconsistency. So we've seen kind of a he wouldn't give up too much ground. He could keep Diaz more firmly in the middle ball where you get to see a guy hit 600 times a season. The sample size is much easier for Khan to hit with that straight jab. Reach to jump out to a lead, as I mentioned, and make Khan get desperate and reach. What's plan B? How do you lure him into those traps? So what does Khan do in that sixth round? 20 of 38 ring right now. He's in control. Scores with a combination. That's last four years, he's a great guy. Oh, class act. Class act, great champion. That's where a fight could be going the wrong way, a long way, and then he can change easy for Amir Khan right now. Like that. I mean, right from the... It doesn't sound like a sell job to keep him in focus. They can see the action better. They feel that they're down. And Khan is always in, fits in with Khan's temperament. I know he's got a lot of, oh, I mean, publicity. You made a baseball. He's brimming with confidence. That's had the confidence jab right out of it. Harder to hit. Um, he really doesn't have much head movement as you. One of the. And you see Freddy's in. My Don is a big puncher, and the thought has been that Khan's really just beating corner. You look out for the guy and just say, you know what, this is enough of a beating. I, I really win. think he's taken more. Sharif Yunan has done a really good job of getting Malinaji back. In the middle of the ring, getting off first, they had a perfect, beautiful. And Khan's were more effective. Yeah. Again, who would you rather be? I mean, Malinaji defensively has certain. Khan's exploiting some technical <laughs> deficiencies of Malinaji. Picked up where Ortiz left off. Totally whitewashing Paulie Malinaji. We're matched perfectly. But they both deserve credit for Lukvidin's back. And against Katelnik, and, and the, the only problem is, I think Malinaji's corner in these situations, is it worth the risk? Here I would say no. The win for Paulie's not worth the risk. Well, he threw that left hook like he meant it. 
Tan thumps off the head of Malinaz. Khan, Khan's knockout shots look more convincing. Good, oh, good, good, good stuff. Amir King Kong.